We love hip hop. Let's get it popping. What's going on? It's gonna be our first first interview here, so I want to make sure to set it off right. Let's get some music popping. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. It's about to go down. Yes, sir. We are back. It's your boy Friday Ricky Tread. Another interview here for your head top. Um, before we get into this, I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsors here. Salute to the sponsors, Astro Pink. If you know, you know. Check them out on their website, myastropink.com, or you can hit them up on their on their Instagram page, Astro Pink Worldwide. And make sure to check out that music video by the boy Smiley Sixers. You know what I mean? Need that. Also. Check out the, um, our sponsors, Diamond Club, deliveries all over the GTA. You can hit them up on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore 905, or you can find them on the Seven Days of Weed website. They got the can of cans and edibles and all that good stuff. I got you know, one of these, these sticks here that I'll be uh, holding down through the interview. You know what I'm saying? But I'm really glad to be getting this interview going on here today because a lot of people recognize me and when they, they associate me with any hood, even though I don't live there anymore, I'm associated with Parkdale. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? They, they, they seen the real Toronto back in the days. Yeah, back and, in the days, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then they're like, yo, this, this guy is the, the Parkdale representative. But I always was apprehensive of holding that title because I knew that there was so many other representatives <laughs> out there that were there from you know from the time they were young and guys even coming up that were rapping you know what i'm saying so i'm really glad to get this interview popping here today so with no further ado Ow. we have it's parkdale in the motherfucking building yes sir get dizzy setting up shots me making them watch not one of the line not phone line busy 20k in a year what's going on what's going on let's get into it man okay the name right before anything the name is Park though. Is that your first rap name? Yeah, my first rap name still. Yeah, you didn't have any other like rap names before that you're like, no, no man, really I had to change that shit. Honestly, yo, it's Park though came up because like like represent the whole block, eh? Mm -hmm. It's not just me, you know. Yeah. There's many different people on the block still. You just gotta put on for everyone, right? So you're like the name is like a representative the representation whole, yeah. of the whole hood. Yeah, the whole hood. I, I messed with it, I messed with it. It's not just me. Yeah, man. And as this being your first interview here with us, um, I want to go through a, a, a history lesson, you know what I'm saying? So that the people can get to know you a little bit more. So obviously representing Parkdale. Yes, sir. Right? You were in Parkdale from when you were a kid. Yeah, when I was a kid, yeah. Okay. Grew up, grew up there still. I seen your videos back in the day when I was a young. A lot. Young back in the day, yeah. Okay, okay. So like, what was life like as like a kid in Parkdale? Not like as a teenager. I'm talking about like kid, kid. It was fun, bro. <laughs> It was fun. Yeah. yeah. You can just go down the street, play ball, hang out with your friends from back home. Mm -hmm. You know, you meet new people from, you know, Nepal. I'm from India, right? So yeah. you just go down the street and just play ball and meet new people, right? Okay. So that's interesting that you mentioned that because I know Parkdale has a very multicultural community. Yeah. Right? And there's different, like, blocks that, like... There's like a Tibetan block. Yeah, there's Tibetans, there's blacks, there's Vietnamese, there's Indians, there's there's every there's and multi there's multicultural, right? Yeah. You see, every, you see everyone. Yeah. So what was like what's the family dynamic like? You were in a house with a lot of people. Nah, it was just me, my mom, my dad, my bro. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in school life. School. You start going to school. Were you over there at Parkdale Collegiate and stuff? Yeah, I was at Parkdale Collegiate. I was at Q, uh, QV. Then went to P, uh, PPS. Mm -hmm. Then went to Western for a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> You're moving around. <laughs> yeah, I went to Western for a bit. <laughs> then I went to Parkdale Collegiate. And that's how I just finished off, right? So, why so many schools, bro? Okay, remember, okay, remember Q, QV is elementary. Okay. Then you go to public school. Oh. And then you go to the high school. High school. But then instead of going to park the collegiate as a high school, I went to Western Tech. Okay, okay. You know? and then I stayed. I went there for like two years, and then I came back to park the collegiate. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So, well, like in school, were you like one of the popular kids? Nah, I was just doing me stuff, just minding my own business. You know, mm -hmm. just doing me all the time. 
were you already into rapping and stuff or nah, were you into other stuff at nah, that I wasn't. Point? Yeah. I just listened to, I, li- I was listening to a lot of hip hop, but then I was never like, in, like serious about making music, you know? Yeah. And then one day, like I was on house arrest and then smoked a little weed mm-hmm. and that's it. <laughs> so you must be, and we're going to get to the, the house arrest stuff in a second, but <laughs> yeah. you must have been like listening to something where you're like, I could do that. That's, Soft, I could do that. Like, yeah, it was not about I, like that. I could be the next person to do that. Bro, just like, I just vibe to the beat. Mm-hmm. When you just get high, you know how you get high and then you just focus? Yeah. And you just think a lot. And basically, when the beat goes on, I just write it down. I don't freestyle, I just write it down. Okay. You know? So was, do you think, and you know, listen, we all are always going to say that our, our bars are crazy, but your first set of stuff, do you think that your first set of stuff was 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 good or it was like uh nah, need some work like in hindsight? Yeah, I need a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Work. But I just I just did it for fun, right? Mm-hmm. To see how it was, and then it was blessed, you know. Yeah. So when did you start like really taking it seriously? Probably like 2018, 2019. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I want to know who you were listening to, like in your in in, Intro, oh, in CD player or whatever, like, well, it's just like MP3 player. Well, a lot of. Chirac, like Chicago music, you know? Okay. Like the Sosa, Lil Durk, you know, Lil Reese, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So then now you decide to get into it. Um, that you started putting out music that you feel like you got, like, a good reception right away? Or was it just, like, more known in the hood? Like, my music? Yeah. Like, through all my friends? Yeah, you know? All my friends, like, yo, it's pretty hard, you know? Mm-hmm. And she, like, think about making music. And just pushed, rushed it off, rushed it off. And then down the line, they kept nagging. And then there's a video, right? Yeah, yeah. So what's the studio session like? Like, what, What's like, is like a packed studio session enough for the man? Yeah, I go a them? lot of people start real deep. Yeah. You know, I have a lot of people start like, go to the studio. It's not, like I said, it's part though, it's just not just me, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of new artists are coming now, just now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Couple, couple, a lot of young boys, you know? So... They talk to shit, though. Yeah, because, listen, for a while, I'm not going to lie, I felt like I might have been one of the only rappers coming out of, that, uh, out of Park, though. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of rappers. It was young stuff. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Yeah. That's basically it. Yeah. And, and there was a rapper back in the days. I don't know if he still uh, makes music. Waco, I heard of back in the days. Waco, no. I honestly, right. honestly right. I only heard of, I seen you on YouTube, and then I seen young stuff. That's basically it. In part though? Yeah. yeah. That's basically all I've seen still. Why do you think that is, fam? Because enough hoods have bare rappers coming from them, bro. Big salute to the sponsors, Astro Pink. If you know, you know. Check them out on their website, myastropink.com. Or you can check them out on their Instagram, Astro Pink Worldwide. And make sure to subscribe to their YouTube channel. New video with Smiley called Sixers out now. But honestly, it's like, yo, like I said, it, it genified, right? It was all black at one point. Mm-hmm. My dad used to tell me, like, yo, don't go out late nights. It gets grimy out there, you know? Yeah. And then, boom, a lot of Tibetans started coming, right? Mm-hmm. And then, boom. Like, a lot of blacks started leaving. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And then, boom, it just, now it's little Tibet. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Everyone just migrated there. It's not just Pike, though, though. Hey, think about this. There's a lot of Tibetans everywhere. There's Vancouver, mm-hmm. there's Minnesota, there's New York, there's um, well, there's a lot of places. California, there's like Tibetan communities everywhere. Yeah, it's like a little Chinatown, you know. Hmm. So, for the people who don't know, like Parkdale, like that, like it really, like okay, the main veins of Parkdale is King and Queen. King and Queen, yeah. Right. Those are the two longest streets that that run Parkdale. It runs all the way around. Yeah. And like. When you start getting a little bit further west on Queen, there's like a little strip where you see a lot. And this is back in the days, but I know the strip has grown. But a lot of Tibetans you see hanging out around past Jameson, around that area. Yeah, close and close and Jameson. Yes. There. It was a high school, right? Okay. There's a ball court right there. There's a tennis court. There's soccer fields right there. Mm-hmm. You know? like I'm, I'm bringing this up because this is the first time, like from when I used to live in Parkdale, I... Like, you know, we we all had our own different communities, I guess, right? Yeah, basically. I never spoke to none of the Tibetan mans over there, fam. 
So what's that like being on the, that, that part of the strip world? It's different. Is everybody speaking, um, like, break it down to me, it's man. Broke, it's broken. Like, honestly, it's like, they just can't really communicate with other people, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like a barrier, a language barrier, you know? Yeah. You know, so then it's like, then they just don't really try, you know? And then down the line, everyone started, like, learning how to speak English. Mm -hmm. And then from there on, you know, everything was Gucci. So... As a young man growing up from that community, how did you start blending in with the black community and different things like that? Was it like high school and stuff? High school, uh, high school. Um, what else? Music. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, Missouri. The game ball court room, and stuff. Yeah. Games room, ball court. You know what else? Basically, yeah. And then school. Basically, I mainly, mainly school, right? Because you see everyone after school, where did everyone go? They go to the community center, right? Mm -hmm. They just show there. Or they're outside playing ball outside. Yeah, that's that's dope, man. Like it's just a lot of insight into that, bro. Because like it's low key, I I never spoke to none of the mans there on that block. Like we just didn't have a reason to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's language. It's those are a huge language barrier for everyone, you know? Yeah, and I always felt like there was like a lot of guys who were just reaching down to Canada, like they were like yeah, they just came fresh off the boat. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, when I came here, I was fresh off the boat, like with sandals. I came from coming from hot to cold, mm. <laughs> so I was like, yo, it was a big, you know. So, like, even with the language barrier, like, how did you get your English, like... Music, I'll be honest. Music, eh? Yeah, I don't care about music. But then times it was like, like, my dad wouldn't let me listen to rap music. He listen, let me listen to, like, country and shit. You know, like, <laughs> just, like, pop music, not, like, hip-hop, you know? Yeah. When he sees, like, 50 Cent, he just shuts the TV off, you know? Bang, just off. BTE, BTE, boom, shuts it off, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One, of the, one of those. That's crazy because... Even with the English language, like it's it's one of the more complicated languages because of all the slangs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So yes, like music would really help to like bring things together. It also, it also like you see, you hear a lot of music like late nights. You hear music playing on the streets. You walk out, you see like black people like like you know like wearing like you know clothing, clothing, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like. I'm like, I'm looking at them, I'm like, whoa, what the f*** are they doing, you know? Yeah. And then from there, huh? So, Parkdale being a place that, once upon a time, they used to call it Crackdale. Like, <laughs> it's a notorious <laughs> place, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the, over there, blessed. Parkdale is blessed. Yeah. Parkdale is Parkdale. You know? Yeah. Parkdale is Parkdale. But, like, when it comes to, like, the streets and stuff like that, right? You mentioned you were on house arrest, and that's when you first started rapping. Yeah. Okay. But getting in trouble doesn't, you know, along the way, has it set you back? You, or do you feel it might not set you back sometimes? Yeah. Big salute to our sponsors, Diamond Club Delivery. They got delivery all over the GTA and a crazy selection of flowers, tinctures, edibles, and everything that you need. You can also check them out on the 7 Days of Weed website, s7daw.com. Or you can check them out on their Instagram, Diamond Club underscore 905. I sent me back. I could have been down a better path in life. Mm -hmm. I don't mean just like... You know, with just having different opportunities, jobs, and stuff like that. But like with rapping, because you gotta start over every time that you go away, type thing. You know what I'm saying? Go away, like go in jail. Yeah, or you catch a big. Well, like, honestly, I don't really go in and out of jails like that. You know, mm. it's just like I got caught one time when I was young, and then, you know, changed my ways from there. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ship more, more smarter and better. You know. Yeah. How do you, even with your videos, right? All the videos are, are dope, but you do, I, I think all your videos are with Sunny Visual, right? Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, 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 man. yeah. So it's Sunny Visual. Visual. Shout out Sunny Visuals. Yeah. How, how did y'all link man. up? Oh, li well, well, honestly, he used to rap too back in the day. What? Like, did we? Did we? Oh, Lee. Back in the day, yeah. So yeah. My, boys, my, my brother used to go to high school with them, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and all of that stuff, you know, I like, used to see him around the area. We're blessed. Okay. And I figured out he was doing videos. I seen Presso's Presso's video. I'm like, damn, like, okay, he's on one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out. And then he's from the area. Yeah. I'm from the area and then bless. Yeah, and then, and I think it even brings a lot more to it when you're dealing with somebody from the area because it's not like, yo, my God, yo, I'm gonna have to come down to your hood and do a video. Like, no, nah, he's right from there. my hood. <laughs> <You're> right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anywhere. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I dig it, man. Okay. I'm I'm gonna get a little little bit sticky for a second. 
Because the blocks. The blog. Okay. There was one point I seen some posts. You were going crazy on the blogs, fam. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I'm not going to ask you about the specifics of the post. But does it make things harder or easier? Like, because you could, it could make things easier in one way. You're getting bare followers or something. But then harder in other ways because people, you might, you're not, you're hot. There was no, like, there was no, like, there was no problem. You know, it was, no, it was not complicated. I didn't mm. have no troubles. I didn't have no, what he said. I didn't get hurt. I'm blessed. Yeah. Nothing no, you're good, happened. though. No more of this blog stuff. Nah. <laughs> Please, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm done with that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, listen, fam, I'm, I'm going to be that old head here, even though I do interviews with men. At the same time I do these interviews, I'm going to tell y'all niggas, like, get away from the bullshit, bro, because I want to see y'all win, bro. Yeah, the cops are watching, bro. They it's are. crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. The cops are always watching. Yeah, fam. Even, like, with the rapping, what's one of the, like, hardest things about rap? It's, I'll, I'll do this as a two-part question. One of the hardest things about being in the rap game, specifically in Toronto, and then one of the best things. Bro, honestly, I don't... I just do this for fun, bro. Mm. It's not about like trying to make it out the hood. I'm blessed. My money's blessed. Everything's good. Let's just do it for fun. You know? Like, I don't think I don't think about rapping like when I'm like 29, 30 years old. Like, you know? Yeah. Probably be having my own business, you know, running my own things, you know? Yeah. But this is just a fun little experience or a little journey mm-hmm. for me, you know? Other than that, if, if shit goes popping, then it is what it is, you know? Yeah. Other than that, Plan B, right? You always have a plan B, right? This is true. But one thing, you're masked up. So you probably don't get stopped on road like, hey, yo, yo, it's Parkdale. No, no. Not like that. Honestly, it's like, honestly, bro, there's a lot of Asians in Parkdale, bro. Mm. So it's like, like, you won't even know who's who. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> like, you see a regular kid wearing Adidas, you know? You know? Mm-hmm. Like, has a backpack on, and you, were, you don't even know who he is, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's crazy. Everyone everyone looks alike. They're all Asians, right? Yeah. So, so you don't even know who the gangsters amongst any of them. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Unless you're like all flashy and shit other than that, you don't really do that out mm-hmm. there, but just do you don't mind your piece on your P's and Q's, you know? Yeah. Out there. Okay, but like with rapping, right? If rapping wasn't a thing that you wanted to do, what what uh, what else would you want to get into? Well, like real estate, business, you know, like probably a haircut shop. Mm-hmm. You know, like something like that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. into, was, uh, real estate and haircut, sh- haircut shop. You know, the two things I'm thinking about right now. Mm-hmm. Well, you still could do it, you know. Or like a lounge, like a bar lounge, you know. We can chill and smoke, blast music, you know. Relax, play pool. Yeah. Or get a haircut at the same time, you know. Do all three at the same time. Get faded, you know. Mm-hmm. You got some some good business plans going on. Uh, just get faded. That's the name. That's the name. Logo. Get faded. <laughs> listen, listen. Man. We might have to blank. We, have, we might have to put a bleep on that. Somebody might try to steal the sauce. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't know. You can take the sauce. Yeah. I'll get the next one. But what about even like with the wrapping? You know, okay. if you can have it the way you want, the perfect picture for Is Parkdale. What would that look like? You know what I'm saying? You reach to the to the promised land. What did that look like? Fuck. I don't even know, honestly. Like, you got, like, how many platinum plaques are you looking at? Oh, like Stadiums. those kind of hits and stuff? Are you doing movies as well? Like, what's the the big blow up look, look, look is going to look like for First Park, though? Like, if you could envision it right now. I don't even know, honestly. And you could add, you big can add um, whoever you're actress or supermodel with chicks is going to be at the same time with honestly that. yo that's too much that's too much to like think about that's like oh that's like no that's just like way too much to think about i don't even know like i don't really like to like you know like face it bro uh, that's just too much you know to be honest with you you know like i don't want to think about bigger picture i just want to focus on getting my money right feed my family mm-hmm. feed the dogs and that basically yeah you know yeah just focus yeah. on one one vision you know Honestly, the music, I'll do it. I just do it for fun, honestly. Mm-hmm. It's not it's not like crazy. Now I'm going like not spending like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on just, you know. It's just do it for fun, you know? Yeah. Basically, yeah. And, if- and there's a Tibetan community too. They back me up too, you know? So here and there they back me up. Back home, there's a lot of Tibetans. So it's like 
And they listen to rap and stuff. So I was like, yeah. If I if I blow off, <laughs> this is what it is. Let me let me ask you a couple more things. Even um, you did mention with um, the Tibetan community. Would you try to rap in Tibet? Or what's what's the language you all speak? Oh, Tibetan. Tibetan. Would yeah, you try to rap I can't in Tibetan? Speak Tibetan. I, I, um, not really fluent in Tibetan. I just just grew up here, you know. Okay. Okay. Straight Toronto lingo. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I'm sure like the rap they have. <laughs> American rap that they listen to or a Canadian rap or whatever and they have their own rap out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. They have um, Hindi rap. They have Tibetan rap. They have Nepali rap. There's Bhutanese rap. A lot of, there's a lot of artists out there. Bro, you might have to go do some um, Rosetta Stone um, um, language lessons or something like that <laughs> and you start rocking some songs. <laughs> nah, it's difficult. So. I grew up here when I was like six years old, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know like one, two, one, two words, but other than that, none, none, none too crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. When's the last time you've been back? Never. I haven't gone back yet. What? That's what I mean. I still, I still haven't gone back yet. I'm planning to go just now, honestly. Probably like around like February, March, you know? Okay. Go back with my dukes. See yeah. Going over there. I'm going to give you a couple of suggestions before we end our, our conversation here. Make a trip to Tibet. I For can't sure. go there. You can't. We can't go over there. We're getting denied a visa. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, you're getting snatched. If you get over there, you're getting snatched. Though. They're going to take you. They're going to come back after like eight, nine months. It's wild out there like that? No, just, bro, we left, right? We left for a reason. Mm. My grandparents left for a reason. Yeah. Like a whole, it's a whole, like, it's a backstory. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, fam, I, 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 I would, can we, do you, do you know a little bit about that backstory? I want to end the interview no, all right I know here, is like, my, I, my bad, it, like yeah? it feels like there's like a whole, there's a whole story. Yeah. yeah. My grandma used to tell me like she used to hike, like she left in the middle of the night, you know, when running through them hills, mountains, a lot of people died mm -hmm. on the way there. And then the, pre, the Dalai Lama had to like beg for the Indian government to allow them in. Yeah. And then they allowed them in, you know? About like 10,000, I think, or somewhere around in the, in the thousands. Mm -hmm. They got to India, you know? Yeah. And they started migrating from there. And that's how there's like a big population in India. You know, like Dharamsala, you can go anywhere. Like, like there's Indians that speak Tibetan. So it's mm. like, that's all like, you know? Ah, you see, you're giving me a history lesson right here, yeah. fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, bro, I, I like to have conversations like this because people will go and listen to the to the music or like see music videos or even on Instagram and have preconceived notions of of, of the Toronto rappers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they feel like a lot of y'all are one dimensional and not realize that y'all have a lot of layers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so so I, I'm really glad that we were able to have this conversation here and get to know a little bit more about his park, though. You know what I'm saying? We're getting right into the beginning of the summer. What you got coming up next? Even like plans for the summer, stuff like that? Yeah, I have a, I have a couple couple music videos coming out. Sunday mm -hmm. is going to be there. You know, we're going to have a couple of shoots on a yacht, maybe. Mm. Maybe jet skis on a yacht and then all of that. B&B, you know, nice cars. Yeah. Can we get a full project? Full project? Like what do you mean? Oh, like, like a, a track? full, maybe EP, seven song EP, or maybe even a Oh, like a project? Album? Yeah, that's one thing my cousin always tells me to make, but it's like, to be honest with you, it's like, I'm always on the go, you know? I don't really have a lot of time. Mm. I'm always in and out, going everywhere, doing my thing. Yeah. But it's like, when I have time, I just sit down and just make one song. But I'll just add it up. If anything, I'll just, you know, like two months, I have like four or five songs, have like a mistake of, you know, like seven songs, eight songs. Oh. Bro. Mm -hmm. The music is fire, bro. I'm going to have to find a way to put a battery in your back where you're like, man, I feel like going to the studio and recording like 10 songs a week, bro. I go to the studio at least like probably like once a month. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nah, man, we need month. more, bro. We need more, fam. <laughs> Don't worry. That's going to be my mission. Common gang, that's going to be my mission. I'm going to get Is Parkdale to, to be giving us more music because the music that I've been hearing and the, and the videos are, are fire. You know what I'm saying? Respect, you're obviously... Bro know how to rap you know what i'm saying it's not it's not Respect. like even, you say you're doing it for fun but when i'm hearing this shit, you ain't you ain't doing no fun shit, bro you're going in you're, you're kicking kicking man's heads off you know what i'm saying so i just i just in the future 
More, more is Park though. That's what I want. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna see a lot of different artists though too. Like it's Park though. You're gonna see a couple artists mm. just now. Probably by the end of 2023, you're gonna see a couple artists though. Okay, um, okay. Looking forward to it, man. Um, give the people your socials anywhere where you want them to find you. Uh, Instagram. You can catch me on Instagram and YouTube. It's Parto Music mm -hmm. on YouTube, and then uh, it's Parto on Instagram. Those are the two main social 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 media platforms I'm on. Same, That's same. Done. Nah, man. Thank you for having this combo here with me, brother. Yes, sir. Um, before yeah. we get out of here, I want to give a big salute to the sponsors here. Big salute. Oh. 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 My bad. Big salute to the sponsors, Astro Pink. If you know, you know. Yes, Hit sir. them up on their Instagram, Astro Pink Worldwide, or you can check them out on their website, myastropink.com. And big salute to Diamond Club. Deliveries all over the GTA. Hit them up on their Instagram, Diamond Club underscore nine oh five. Or you can catch them on the Seven Days of Weed website. It's Parkdale in the building. Yes, sir. I'm going to take us out here with uh, mansions, yo. Big or missions. Parties. Or missions. My bad. We love hip hop. Hip -hop. Hip -hop.